Hi everyone. Welcome to another question and answer session. A 45 years old man presents with hand weakness. He is given a piece of paper to hold between his thumb and index finger. When the paper is pulled, the patient has difficulty maintaining a grip. The pressure is maintained by flexing the thumb at interphalangeal zone. What is most likely nerve lesion? So from this question, uh, first of all, find out the key points here. That when the paper is pulled, the patient has difficulty to maintaining the grip and grip pressure maintained by flexing the thumb at the interphalangeal joint. So the normal pinching movement, that means the normal grip by the index and the thumb is lost and it is done by the interphalangeal joint of the thumb. So we have to find out which nerve injury occurs for this. So we have the options. Options are posterior interosseous nerve, deep branch of ulnar nerve, anterior interosseous nerve, superficial branch of ulnar nerve and radial nerve. So let's see here. So here we can see this is the adductor pollicis muscle and this adductor pollicis muscle is responsible for this type of movement that means the whole the piece of the paper between the thumb and index finger so this muscle is responsible for this type of the movement so here we can see it is the normal normally uh, it is grip like this and if the adduct loss of function of this muscle that means the adductor pollicis muscle function is lost then this normal grip is lost and in this case interphalangeal joint activated and it holds like this so here adductor pollicis muscle function is lost then interphalangeal joint active that means the pelagic pollicis longus muscle activated so this movement is lost so we have to find out the nerve supply of this muscle and this muscle is the adductor pollicis muscle and here we can see there is the adductor pollicis muscle which is removed uh, this is the adductor actually this is the adductor pollicis muscle which is not removed and you can see the adductor pollicis muscle which causes that type of movement that means it can't um, uh, hold between the index and the thumb and here we can see this nerve is supplies this adductor pollicis muscle and we know that this nerve is the deep branch of the ulnar nerve we know that the ulnar nerve dividing into the deep branch and the superficial and here we can see this nerve it is very close to the bones that means it is the deep group it supplies the deep group of the muscle and it is the deep branch of the ulnar nerve so deep branch of the ulnar nerve it supplies the adductor pollicis muscle and the adductor pollicis muscle it causes adduction and uh, cut hole between this index and thumb so our final answer is the deep branch of the ulnar nerve because the deep branch of the ulnar nerve it uh, causes the hold of any paper or card or coin between the thumb and the index finger as this power is lost so when uh, a paper given to the patient the give pressure is maintained by the another muscle which flexes the thumb at the interphalangeal joint and this muscle is the flexure pollicis longus not the adductor pollicis so our final answer is the deep branch of the ulnar nerve and the deep branch of the ulnar nerve it supplies the adductor pollicis muscle Thank you all.